Hi guys, this is Sheila Landry from Toll Painting Designs and today I wanted to show you how I applied a finish using DecoArt's One Step Crackle. Now the result of this crackle is a very fine um, cracking process. It's not like the weathered wood which has a bigger chunks where it looks very profound. This is a very um, subtle result and I know a lot of people have trouble with crackle and they call it one step crackle because it's really easy to do. Um, I'm going to be doing it on my new welcome plaque, my, my Celtic design. Um, this is going to be up on my website in the next day or so. I'm showing it that way because it doesn't fit in the frame real well. I did um, with this greeting and I also put it on a welcome sign and the design will have different corner motifs and things like that so you can put it on just about any surface. But I chose my tavern sign which is three pieces. It's a square, 10 inch square and then the header and the footer. And what I wanted to do with this, because it looks nice like this, I did a little experiment here, um, is I wanted the, the header and footer to be a little bit different and to look a little bit weathered out um, or a little bit more like a different um, coloring than the center. I think it'll look nicer. So what I did is I applied a coat of the One Step Crackle over each of the header and the footer. I don't know if you could see it makes it like really shiny. It's almost like a gloss finish it looks like. Now the crackle medium is very, I'm trying to open it up. It's like milky and it's kind of thick, almost like a varnish. And what you do when you apply it is you want to lay it down a little bit thick but quickly with few brush strokes and it does level off. It looks like there's a lot of brush strokes in it even if you use a soft brush. I didn't use any water with it. I used a damp brush to start but I didn't want to water down the formula because that could affect the crackles too. And I let it dry overnight. It says like two to four hours but I let it dry overnight. And what I'm going to do is use um, DecoArt's Matte Metallic in gold, because that's the gold I used for the lettering here. Again, I don't know if you see the shine, but it's accented in the gold. And I also wanted to mention, I did use um, my technical pen and some India ink to outline the shamrocks on, this, on the plaque design but I didn't use them here just in case it would run and I didn't think it would show up and make that much of a difference so I guess we could experiment and see if it would break down the shellac in the marker that I used but um, for now I just didn't do the outlining on the header and the footer but I think it'll look fine so what I'm going to do is show you how I apply the, um, the top coat on this, okay? So I'm going to put that away, take my matte metallic, and I have some clean water, I have a soft brush, and that's my wet palette. One of those little handy wet palettes. You don't need a wet palette, but I use it all the time. Now I'm going to dampen the brush and make sure the paint is a little bit loose. I don't want it real wet, but you want it where it's going to penetrate, especially with the metallics. They're a little bit thicker bodied, they seem, because of the metal particles in there. So I want it a little bit um, runny, so the paint will settle in the little cracks. And I'm going to brush it on. And you can already see how it's settling. It's going to sit on the top. Like I said, it's almost like there's a finish on it already. It's almost like there's, um, see how it's beading a little bit? 
it's almost like there's a varnish on it and you want the paint to settle in those little tiny cracks so I'm working quickly here brushing on this paint and I use the lighter gold I was debating on whether using the bronze or the gold but I didn't want it to look dirty okay so once it's on you're gonna just take a nice clean paper towel and wipe it back and you could see I hope I tried to get this done during the day so that the light is good you could see in the pattern I took some really good pictures but you could see how subtle that is um, the little cracks in there I'm gonna show pictures in the pattern up close and this will give a nice metallic sheen to it okay so I'll do the other the other one too now you could do this with regular paint you could use like a asphaltum or a brown if you want a more antique look but as I said I used the metallic in the design and I thought the shimmery metallic would look kind of nice in there so I'm going to apply the paint very loosely. Now you don't want it too wet. This is on MDF, but um, I'm not saturating it. But I'm making sure that the paint is really covering it so it can fall into those cracks. And then again, soft paper towel. This is like a shop towel. I like these for painting because they don't disintegrate. And wipe it back now can you see these little lines and it looks like aged porcelain when you do it on a cream or a white base it looks beautiful like when you get aged porcelain so that's about it it's really easy and you don't really see the cracks until you put the paint that's another thing people think that it didn't work but it, it, it's subtle so there's the difference. Now look how much nicer that looks. It looks a lot more subtle. You could do the whole piece if you want, of course. If I were going to do it over the, um, the ink work, I would spray it with a matte spray first. Let it dry and then apply your, um, your one-step crackle. Let it dry again and then antique it. Okay? So that's about it. I'll move that down so we can see it all. I think you're in the middle. And I hope this little demonstration helps. Thanks.